Brett Favre here last year, and as unorthodox yep. as his play is, and I've covered Brett for about the last nine years in, in doing games, what did you or what could you learn from him last year? Well, there, there, were, there were two major things that I learned from Brett. First and foremost, he played the game with, with what I like to call a youthful enthusiasm. It didn't matter. You know, he had all the hype and the pressure and everything heaped on him. And you mentioned earlier, there's a lot of pressure playing quarterback in the New York area. Um, through it all, he played the game, had fun for what it is. And, and we get paid to play a game, with, which is a beautiful thing. Um, and for my first three years, to be honest, I kind of lost sight of that a little bit. And, uh, and my passion for the game... Uh, it, 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 uh, it, it tapered off a little bit. And, and you can't be as good as you can possibly be if you're not playing with passion. So I think being around Brett really reinvigorated my passion for playing the game. The second thing is, and Brett has a reputation of being a guy that just kind of dropped back, found the up and guy and trusted his arm strength to sling it, didn't really watch a lot of film, didn't study. And that was my assumption coming in because that's what I'd heard. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Mm -hmm. I, I've never seen a guy that watched more film than Brett. Now, and he, he, he was different than Chad, and I had a chance to learn from both of them. Chad sit there very meticulous with his notes. Brett's going to sit there. I mean, he's seen the stuff. He's seen, he'd been playing for 18 years. He's seen everything 100 times. I mean, he's just flying through the film. But he would see things that would come back and on game day and say, hey, do you remember we're watching Buffalo defense against the New England offense on Tuesday night? And you remember the, the weak side safety did this. I, I, half the time I knew what he was talking about, half the time I didn't. I always agreed with him. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he'd say, hey, if he does that again, I'm going to whip that seam route in that, in that weak side slot. And sure enough, he'd do it. And it was exactly what we'd seen on tape. It was unbelievable. So it was, it was a good opportunity for me to take what I learned from Chad watching film, take what I learned from Brett, and I'm kind of expanding my own little personal portfolio of what works go. for me.